today Today, Bab Dada, the one who makes all souls special, is seeing the specialities each holy swan. A swan has the special powers of discernment and recognition. Therefore, it also has the special power of being able to imbibe and so is able to recognize both a stone and a pearl. It then discriminates between the two and it imbibes the pearl. It set aside the pebbles, the stones. Because of having the specialities of all three powers, the power to recognize, to decide, and to adopt, that is, imbibe. Sangam Yuki. 
because of having the specialities of the, these three powers, the confluence aged mother Saraswati has been shown riding a swan. It is not just a memorial of the Mother Saraswati. It is not a memorial of just the mother Saraswati, but all of you too who become like the mother and play the veena, that is the musical instrument of knowledge. In order to imbibe this knowledge, all these three specialities are very essential. When all of you adopted Brahman life, When all of you adopted Brahman life, you first had recognition on the basis of the power of recognition from knowledge and from your understanding. You recognized yourself, the time, your Brahman family and your elevated task. You recognized yourself, the time, your Brahman family and your elevated task. Oh, my God. 
you adopted the Brahman life. Only after having discerned this did you adopt Brahman life. You discerned that this is the same unlimited father. You discerned that this is the same unlimited father, the supreme soul of the previous cycle, and that you are an elevated soul of the previous cycle, a soul who has a right. After discerning this, you took a decision. Without recognizing the father, you are unable to decide. Some souls who are still in relationship and contact with you continue to say, this is very good, this is very good. But But because they neither have the recognition of God nor the power of discernment, they are unable to decide what they have to become and what they have to do. This is why they are unable to adopt Brahman life. They become cooperative, but 
we are unable to create an easy yogi life. Because they do not have the two powers which are mentioned before. That's why they are unable to become holy swans. They do not consider purity, that is the pearls, to be distinct from impurity, that is pebbles. And that is why And that's why they are unable to have the power to imbibe purity. So, the speciality of holy swans is firstly to have the power of discernment, that is, the power of recognition. Do all of you holy swans have both these powers? In what percent do you have these powers? Do you believe that you are 100% in this? 
or will there be a margin? You have recognized the father. You have recognized yourself. And you have taken an accurate decision. And this is how you became a Brahman and are moving forward. All of you, all of you have definitely passed in this or do you believe that you are present in this? Do you believe that you have definitely passed in this? Is it full pass? Is it? You should be full pass in this and then move forward. However, let there be the experience of success in every action throughout the day in the service you do and the actions you perform in the actions of your daily timetable and when you form relationships and connections with others. Let the souls who come in contact with you experience success in their relationship with you. Constantly experience success in every type of service you do, whether it is through the mind, words, 
or actions. The foundation of this is the power to discern and decide. The basis of this are the powers of discernment and decision making. Have you fully passed in these? Check the reasons for not being constantly successful in service relation. So there is a difference in having the power to discern the task, the person and the soul. If your power of discernment is sharp at the time when a soul needs cooperation in a certain way or if he needs certain instructions or he needs love, you would definitely be able to achieve success in this relationship. However, what happens is that
However, what happens is that because you neither discern nor give the type of cooperation or the method needed at that time, but you give him cooperation in your own way or you adopt your own method. That's why there isn't success in the form of contentment. For instance, what happens when a doctor doesn't know how to diagnose uh, your physical illness? Instead of your getting well, many more illness are created from that one illness. The patient do not receive the success in the form of contentment. In simple words, Bhagavata is saying, Recognize each one's pulse. It is necessary for you to move along and make others move along too. What will you have to do? What will you have to do? You have to increase the power to recognize that is the power to discern. There is a difference in this. In simple words, you say that there is a difference in handling. This one's handling is the old way and that one's handling is the new way. You say that, right?
Why is there this difference? It is because It is because you need to have the power to discern each soul and each task at every moment. On the whole, you have the power to discern, but you still have a need for the detailed and unlimited power of discernment. How much power to imbibe does that soul have at that moment? What is the atmosphere like? What is the mood of the soul when listening or taking instructions? If someone who has a weak body If someone who has a weak body is given an injection of maximum strength, what would happen? He would have heart failure. 
and go into coma. Similarly, If a soul who comes into relationship with you Similarly, if a soul who comes into relationship with you is weak If that soul doesn't have courage at that time, and you keep giving him a dose of teachings, If you have not been able to discern the soul mood, the time, and the atmosphere, what would the result be? Fine. Firstly, he would lose hope. Secondly, because he does not have any power, he would not be able to imbibe anything. Instead, Instead, he would be in a turmoil of stubbornness and try to prove himself right. Whatever you did, you did it with good intentions. Your intentions were not bad, but but the reason for a lack of success is The reason for a lack of success is your lack of power of discerning and judging. This is why This is why there is a percentage in becoming an embodiment of success. Thank you.
in your actions and relationship throughout the day, there is a need for the power of discernment, is there not? By all means, give teachings, but only take that step after having discerned all that you have been told. Therefore, on the field of service, if you do not discern the other soul's desires and needs, no much how no matter how much you give knowledge clearly, no matter how much effort you make on that soul, there will not be success. It has also become accustomed to say, it is good, it is good. Because you do not say anything bad anyway. In order to experience closeness to your aim of having success, it is extremely necessary for you to have the power of discernment. If someone desires liberation, and 
and you give him both liberation and liberation in life. He would not have that much interest. You can give 36 varieties of food to someone who is thirsty but he will only be satisfied with just a drop of water, not with the food. So if you discern those who desire liberation and you give them clarification about liberation, their desire will then increase. And it might even change into liberation in life. Some like to listen to things related to Vajna. And if you start telling them about the duration of the cycle being 5,000 years or about the God of Gita, What would happen then? Interest. The interest will end. Therefore, therefore, the basis of success in doing service is The basis of success in doing service is the need is the need to discern the stage and interest of each soul discern the stage and interest of each soul So what does the basis of the service? The 
foundation is the power to discern. It is necessary to discern this. So on the basis of which power is there success in doing service? You need the power to discern whether you are serving souls without knowledge or your service companions. The basis of success in serving both is the same. So, what is the speciality of Holy Swan then? First of all, increase the power to discern. If your power to discern is accurate and elevated, your decision will also be accurate. And then, whatever you wish to give someone, that soul will automatically have the power to imbibe it. So what will you become? A number one embodiment of success. So, whether in doing service or in forming relationship, so, 
in order to achieve your dream, Adopt this quality. Is it clear? So, whether in doing service or in forming relation, in order to achieve your aim, adopt this quality. Check throughout the day. Check throughout the day to what extent is the power of discernment accurate in the nine people of the whole day? And where was there a need for correction and addition? And where, where was there a need for correction and addition? After doing that, there automatically, there definitely is automatic correction. Because Because everyone has definitely received the blessing of a divine intellect. If you are under the influence of some circumstance or situation at that time, wow. and under the influence of the company of a soul, Or 
or under the influence of the gates of your mind due to Maya. You are at that time under many external influences. However, However, when the influence of the time, circumstance, company, and dictates of your mind become light, However, the, when the influence of the time, circumstance, company or dictates of your mind become light, a divine intellect then does its own work. You people call this, become aware after having had strong feelings. Then you would feel that You should have made this correction or addition or that you have to do it. Okay, there is no mark in the register or account book of karma, but there is a spot, a dot. It is no longer completely clean, is it? This is why this is why it is said that the philosophy of karma is extremely deep.
You teachers know the wonderful game of karma well, do you not? Do you know the wonderful game of karma? You know very well, do you not? What song do teachers sing throughout the day? You sing the song, Wa, the wonder of my elevated karma. It is not a song of the philosophy of karma, it is the wonder of elevated karma. Their people of the world repent for their every action at every step while seeing high karma, high karma that is the suffering of action. Whereas, what do you say? You say, Va elevated karma. You sing this song, do you not? Now, simply move forward. Now, simply move forward in this and let it constantly be. Va elevated karma and not ordinary karma. You have stopped repenting for your actions, but you now have to underline performing elevated actions. You now have to underline performing elevated actions. If there is mixed actions, if there is mixed actions, ordinary as well as elevated, then the success is also mixed. The special attention you now have to pay is to transform anything ordinary into special, something special. Bab Dada will speak at some other time about what he sees in each one's daily timetable.
to what extent is it just ordinary or to what extent is there some speciality? He continues to see this result. Teachers, what have you listened? Bab Dada has so many instruments that he is able to see all the children of this land and abroad at the same time. There is no need for him to see them all separately. He can know about everyone in just five minutes. There is no need for him to see them all separately. He can know about everyone in five minutes. He also sings the song of wonder of children and along with that He also checks this against your aim of becoming like him. You have also heard previously that all of you have passed in having love for the Father. All of you have passed in having love for the Father and recognizing the Father and that sometimes you even perform tasks of wonder, Kamal. You perform good wonders not wonders with chaos, that's the mal. Some children perform wonders of chaos as well.
It is chaos, but they say, no, this is a wonder. This is why Bhaktada says, This is why Bab Dada says, increase your power to discern. You will then be able to discern your own actions and also discern the actions of others accurately. You will then not say that wrong is right. This is the lack of the power to discern. Always remember one thing. Baba is saying this to everyone and not just to teachers. Always remember one thing, sometimes some of you perform a wasteful or ordinary action and you are unable to discern for yourself whether that was right or wrong. When such a situation arises, That is when you are under an external influence. What is the elevated way to attain victory over that situation? When you perform such an action, Your intellect is under an influence at that time and that is why you consider wrong to be right. You do not understand wrong to be wrong but you understand it is right. You are then stubborn and try to justify something. This indicates an intellect under an influence, external influence. At such times, constantly remember the elevated instructions of one Bhaktada. You must give importance to the directions. Shanti, 
लिए उसको मैं दो देना चाहिए यू मस्ट गिव इंपोर्टेंस टू द डायरेक्शंस गिवन बाय द सोल्स हु बाप दादा हैज मेड इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स एट द टाइम At that time, do not think that those who are instruments are saying something to you. Something to you because someone has told them something. You are deceived by that. By giving importance to the teachings and directions. by giving the importance to the teachings and directions at the time they are given to you by the elevated souls who are instruments even though those things might be bad you are not responsible baba always said about father brahma that if a mistake was made by brahma that mistake would change and be corrected for you aise nimit pani atma ke prata kabhi bhi let there never be any of these waste thoughts about souls who have been made instruments an instrument soul gives you a decision which you do not feel is correct lekin aap usme zimmewar nahi hoge but you are not responsible aapka paap nahi banega aapka your sins will not increase your work will be done accurately because the father is there he will change that sin this is a deep secret incognito machinery therefore direction ko make important use of the elevated directions given by the elevated souls who are instruments this benefit for you in doing that laws will change in the benefit this is the father's guarantee do you understand isliye that is why you are told that this wonderful play is really unique kharab kati wale nahi hai vichitra it is not something that goes wrong but this wonderful play is really unique the father is responsible the father is also responsible for those who he has made instruments he is also responsible for changing your sins kya sona kya sona sapaj to a is it clear aur se aane ke the kameer ho gaye sochne lage hai kya soch rahe hai are you thinking right now think and do action nimit nahi bana so just samajh ke drama ke they have not been made instruments just like that they have been made instruments after integration and thought according to the law of drama 
Do you understand? Teachers, do you like this? Your teachers like this, whatever Baba said, do you know? There's benefit in this, is there not? So much of your burden is lightened. If anything comes up, you would say, Seniors, you have been made instrument to know about this. You would become light, do you not? However, this is not just for the sake of saying it, but it also has to be understood in this way with love and self-respect. The father and the children who are sensible know about these defects. To say anything about souls who are instruments is to say that about the Father. The Father has made them instrument, has he not? Do you have greater power to discern than the Father? Bab Dada has deep love for all of your children. It is not that he has love for only the instruments and not for others. It is because of love that he gives instructions, that is directions. If he didn't have love, he would say, let them carry on the way they are. However, this is not so. Since you have had so much courage and are following Brahman life and flying, why should there be even a small weakness? This is love. What is the indication of love? What indication of love? One cannot bear to see weakness in someone for whom there is love. This is the sign of love. You always consider a weakness in the one you truly love with your heart to be your own weakness. This is the sign of love. Have you understood? The ones who are in villages who is not able to understand this is say, My Baba, my Baba. Say, my Baba, smile, eat, enjoy your life. Do you like this? And those 
innocent mothers doesn't engage in troublesome acts. They are instruments in creating the subjects of nine million. You have come in the list of Brahmins. Be courageous, don't lose hope, don't lose courage. Bab Dada sees embodiment of your courage and Bab Dada gets the news. With the power of courage, you can transform any difficult task. I got this news. And the news is from which place? Athens. Children has gone there for service, even though there was upheaval, but children kept courage. And with the power of pure feelings and good wishes, they kept such feelings towards that soul. And the conference became successful. The upheaval got transformed into success. This is what is called as when a child becomes courageous, takes a step of courage, the father will be ready to help. So all your pure wishes and good feelings has brought success to the service. It's not just that those who became the instrument to go to Athens did the task, but your good wishes and pure feelings also contributed to this. Bab Dada says thanks and is also congratulating the children. In every task, keep such courage and transform yourself. Until and unless you can transform yourself, If you are able to transform yourself, would you be able to transform the thoughts of other souls? Good wishes and pure feelings, the blessings that you get out of it, out of this can make impossible task possible. Children too. has also 
kept this good wishes, good wishes and pure feelings and received the blessings and Bhavdada too gave the blessings to them. Whatever task you do, this is just a simple example, but whatever task you do, Never be influenced under a negative situation. You have to put your influence on that negative situation. And from your heart, the voice will reach others and success will be your birthright. This is the benefit of being courageous. Teachers, have you listened? You engage in huge service, right? You can make this happen with the help of courage. Do you have courage? Or you become weak at times? Do not be frightened about anything. You are also you are also once with thousand arms. Baba's thousand arms are also yours. Achya. Achya, sabhi double videshi mat wale ho na. All the double foreigners are courageous souls. Are you not? You're not weak. You're moving forward with a lot of courage. You have completed all your task and has reached here. You have passed in your task, is it not? Or have, have you come have you come after having passed or after having passed with honor? You played a good part. And 
a soul definitely receives the return of his love. One who has received love definitely gives the return of love at a time of need. There is a need for some souls to play their part and souls who play a special part get the return of their love. There is a need for some souls to play their part at this time and there is also some who are needed at the beginning of the new world. What will you do? You have played part here and there. You are required. What will you do? The drama has to move on, does it not? Therefore, therefore, those who are leaving Those who are leaving the body, there is a need at the beginning for those special souls. That's why they're leaving. A new chapter will now begin, will it not? Which souls are needed to begin the new chapter for reproduction through yoga power? Yogi souls are needed, are they not? And ordinary souls can't do this task. Yogi souls are needed. Anyone or anything may become the excuse. But settlement has to take place and service too has to take place. Now, do not think about who will give birth to Krishna and who will give birth to Radhe. Do not go in that expansion. This is not the topic. That is why you have been told that the games of karma are wonderful. Yeah. 
anyone may give birth to Krishna, do not go into that. Are you going to go there, or are you just going to think about it? Those who say won't go. That's why. If you even if you want to go, put a full stop to this thought. Acha. Charo orki. Sana. To the special souls in all directions who always have the power to discern, to the souls who are embodiments of success and attain elevated success in their every action and relationship, To the powerful souls who bring about transformation through courage, good wishes, and pure feelings. To the children who constantly sing the song of happiness, how wonderful my elevated karma is. To such children, Babdada's love, remembrance and namaste.